It's like hot rotting in the sky. A Calhoun County man is building his own plane while sharing his passion with hundreds of thousands of YouTube subscribers. In this week's Faces and Places of the Panhandle, News Channel 7's Dan Nyman hears more about experimental aircrafts and its growing audience. Humans have dreamt of flight for centuries. From the Wright brothers in 1903 to a hangar near Alpha, that dream remains very much alive. It's not a very fast airplane. Uh, this will probably at best do around 110 miles an hour in cruise. This is what's called an experimental aircraft, a designation given to recreational aircraft often built by people in their own garages. Outside of a few parts, Brian Wallstrom chose to build his plane virtually from scratch, following plans from a Missouri-based company called Zenith. These plans offer literally the dimensions and the angles and so forth that you, you need to fabricate each part, right? So you literally go from the flat plans and you draw and measure that out onto the flat sheet metal and make your cuts, make your bends, and wouldn't you know, it looks like a factory piece when you get done cutting it. And piece by piece, it's well on its way to looking like an aircraft. It's been a time-consuming process, but delays are now being compounded by a new career spawned from his passion. I told my wife one day, it's like, you know what, one of these days when I retire, I want to get a camera, some editing software, and just go around visiting people building airplanes and factories. And I decided one day, why wait? So I, I bought the camera and editing the software, and little by little, started traveling around and when you know people are interested in seeing this just as well as I am. And nearly five years later, it's now clear that a lot of people are interested in Brian's hobby, more than 140,000 people to be precise. His page experimental aircraft channel talks all things aircrafts, documenting the process of construction while showing the world that flight can be achieved from humble workspaces. Some people think you have to have a big hangar like this, and the reality is you don't, right? People are building things at their kitchen counter, sometimes even at the dining room table when you get to like very, very small sub assemblies. A metaphor for his own YouTube journey, which comes from equally humble beginnings. It's many hats, right? I mean, that's what you do in your bootstrap of business is you do all the things between social media, being actual uh, phone conversations or conversations that I have with people and then to hit the air shows and the travel involved, it is a lot to do. A lot to do, but it's worth it. Ultimately helping others realize the dream of flight by sharing a passion with millions of viewers. If you have interest, start. It does take a, a little bit of time to get together, but it's enjoyable. And the people that you meet and the things that you learn along the way, I mean, it's, it's just an amazing experience. For now, progress on Brian's plane is slower than he'd like, but he continues to chip away at it while flourishing in his new job. I don't actually call this a job. It is work. Don't get me wrong. It is work, but it's not a job. I love what I do. In Calhoun County, Dan Nyman, News Channel 7. Wallstrom uploads videos weekly to his YouTube channel. To see what he gets up to next, head over to our website, wjhg.com. We'll be right back.